Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Serpent in the Staglands. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that he chose to join me today as we clear out this cave of shroomers. Because we have been finding only shroomers this whole time, and actually, I'm thinking, wouldn't it be cool if these caves connected somehow to Lumentark? That would be awesome. That would be really, really cool, actually. But I don't think that the game can do that thing. Can do that. I'm not sure that it can. Actually, in in, in terms of a uh, characteristic of the engine itself, maybe it can. I don't know. Why? Maybe it can. Anyway, we will see. We've been we've been here for a while now, and uh, and we haven't found a way out, or we haven't found a dead end. We have always been finding more doors into the dungeon, and uh, this is the third level of the dungeon, and uh, we are now. We are now a little bit out of... Uh, so, my spells are there. Um, a little bit of, out of health. And I'm gonna heal myself right there. And, uh, yep. So, as I was saying before the episode... Last episode. I'm getting more and more confident about the fights that we are undertaking. And that's a good thing. Although, I'm really not gonna fight against guards or anything like that. When they are... Uh, when they have backup... So what I'm gonna try and do is keep being a little bit um, uh, on the uh, on the conservative side in regards to uh, in regards to our combat situations, and uh, gonna try and um, and try to dispatch weaker enemies as fast as possible. But when it comes to stronger ones, I'm gonna go again. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go a little bit on the defensive as I did before. What's this? reddish thing over there in the ground. Hmm. I haven't seen that before, have I? I don't think I have. Okay, so let's see. Okay, nothing new in here. It's just some larvae. Not gonna be a big deal. They don't talk with me, as as you'd expect. I mean, they're just larvae. Is that a, is that a shroomer? It is a shroomer. Let's kill the shroomer, please. And... Can it, can it please? They take a long while to attack too, because you know I think that's because they are wearing. Okay, skin stealers. Okay, I've dealt with them before. See that guy? He was running away, then I turned back, and uh, and he just came back after me. Interesting. Uh, I'm I'm very I'm very satisfied with the way the AI works in this game. Not the party AI though. Not the party AI, because they sometimes they disengage for no reason whatsoever. But the um. The enemies, it, it works relatively well. I mean, for a real time with pause game, it works relatively well. I got a couple of steel, skin stealers. No, 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 Last time I fought skin stealers, you weren't wearing that kind of armor. No, 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 no. Giladel, go back. Catalina, you do, you do the thing. No, 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 no. Freaking titles. Okay, Catalina, please fight that guy. No, no. Seriously? Okay, everyone fight that guy as much as possible. I'm not sure. Flesh wounds, yeah. <laughs> okay, badly injured. Okay, that's going well. That's going well. I am kind of a, I was kind of afraid because I saw the cloak and he's got one of these badass shields. And uh, yeah, well, a single guy against three. Yeah, but we never know about his. Um, I'm gonna eat his heart? Are you serious? Or is this guy some kind of a... Demon or something? Maybe they are, actually. Doppel doppelgangers or... I don't know, maybe. Maybe, maybe just I'm, I'm getting freaked out for no reason whatsoever. Because maybe that's just... Their, the skin they're wearing and they don't have the shields and probably that's that's exactly what what's happening over there. Uh, so yeah, I'm just freaking out for no reason. Because that guy and went down pretty easily, all things considered. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's not let's not be uh, too conservative against these guys. Let's make this a little bit interesting. And actually, I can see a skull. All all I see from here is a skull, and then they transform. It's weird. It's really weird. Um, yeah, but it works. It freaked me out. It freaked me out. So I thought they were bandits before, but now they're not. Are they stealing my skin? Is that what's happening? Is that... Maybe it is. Maybe they're just stealing my skin. Because bandits, maybe it, just, it was just the way we were armored. Interesting. And yeah, because that looks like Catalina, doesn't it? it? 
Yay, it is Catalina. We're fighting Catalina's uh, doppelganger. Oh, that makes total sense. How could I how could I not see that before? Hmm. Okay, so uh, this guy is going down relatively well. Not as well as the other guy, but whatever. Uh, so down he goes. Some emeralds and some heart, maybe? No? No? Okay, okay. Uh, let's heal ourselves, have Catalina pick up that stuff, and uh, kill Giladel as well. There you go. And send Catalina up ahead to scout for more terrible things to kill. And uh, select a world party. Everyone is healed. Quick save. And let's go on our way. Actually, I should mind that the northern part of this dungeon hasn't been explored yet. And I should remember where I've been. I've, I'm going through the south and to through the last leftmost edge of the dungeon. This looks like water though. Is that is this the uh, an underground sea of sorts? What's that? A shroomer. Totally fine with that. A couple of shroomers. Totally fine with that as well. Just kill them and please don't disengage. Or don't engage when they run away. There you go. Don't attack that one. Attack this one. Hmm. Okay. Whatever. You don't want to die? I'm not going to kill you. But please don't run away. Come on. They're, they are on the, on the aggressive stance, so they are just going mad all the time. Attack this guy, please. Is that a thing you can do? Is that something that you can manage to accomplish? Please? Thank you. So Giladel is taking damage. Not, not going to... Gonna be worried about that. Um, this one is mortally wounded. Please, everyone, attack that one in Wilhelm. Just heal Giladel. Just because. Bruised. And there's another one over there. All fine. It's all fine. So he's healing him. And just, uh, just in case, I don't, I don't want to. I want. I don't want Giladel to die because as soon as Giladel dies, then it's game over. You have seen that already couple of times actually and Wilhelm seems to be taking the brunt of the damage right now another one another enemy spotted but we are outside combat so that should heal immediately it does let's heal Wilhelm as well send Catalina to pick up the shroomer fat and she's like no I don't want fat I know I'm a brute but I want I want to look good actually how hot is Catalina who knows who knows because this pixel art is Hard to spot the curves of uh, characters. It's not really a thing that uh, the game designers focused on, and I'm okay with that. I'm okay. I'm perfectly okay with that. And uh, that guy is running away. No, he's not. He's burrowing down somewhere. We're basically invading their lands, but they're attacking us. They're, they've been attacking us for a while, so I don't think they have society or anything like that. Because sometimes you're with the fantasy games, you're just like killing monsters and stuff like that and they like they have societies and they have cultures families all sorts of of uh, stuff like that and then you realize that you've just been a bad guy all along uh, and uh, doesn't seem to be the case here I'm just trying to survive to be honest I'm exploring if they were a little bit a little bit um, more welcoming of strangers that's all they need and especially strangers that kills that get kill them left and right all they need to do is just come over and say hey please stop killing us we'll give you whatever you want and i just say okay don't give me anything i just want to i just want to see these these dungeons i don't care about treasures and they're like oh you're a nice guy after all and nah that's not that's not how it works these guys are just mindless creatures they don't they don't uh have societies I don't think they have. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows their motivations? But, uh, yeah. We'll never know, I don't think. Maybe we will. Maybe we will. This game, um, is still... There's still a lot of uh, occasions for it to surprise us, so... So, we're... Okay, what the hell are you doing? Don't go over there. It was a misclick. And an enemy spotted somewhere. Hopefully he's not getting engaged before Wilhelm kills Catalina. Catalina's go ahead. I'm gonna quick save. And let's... Yeah. And now he engages. It's a shroomer. And he's gonna die. There you go. Come on. But... Okay. 
Sometimes they deal a lot of damage, but other times not so much. Look at that. She dealt four. No, actually, she dealt uh, th 13. So she's dealing a, uh, quite a big deal of damage, if I'm honest. And uh, let's see. The, this place. Oh, what's that? Rumor over there. Hmm. Let him be. Let him be. I don't. I don't. I really don't want to kill them all because it's kind of grindy. And uh, if I need the experience, I'll grind my way into higher levels. But right now, I don't. I don't want the experience. All I want to do is just try and follow the main quest and uh, do the side quests that we find in the meantime. Because our real objective is to get to Me Metalis. What's it called? Emerald Metalis. That's. I think that's the name. Some kind of maybe the capital over here. Uh, of the uh, Mayfevians or Mayfevians, and um, meet the um, the brother of the guy that uh, Erlin's brother, and uh, just um, see what's up, because I get the feeling that whoever whoever locked the Moon God in this earth is both powerful and of ill intent. And I don't want to deal with him this early in the game. So what I'm gonna I'm gonna make my way through these guys. I'm gonna try and complete side quests, try and roleplay as better as best as possible because that's what this game is all about. That's all what uh, old school RPGs are all about. And let's see what we can find. Uh, so this looks like it might be the last dungeon in this um, in this. Uh, series of dungeons and if it is I'm gonna have to backtrack all the way back to level one but well that's the case that's the case so I am throwing caution to the wind because these are a couple of skills the steam skill steam steel skin stealers that's the word and uh, Catalina is doing quite a lot of damage they are not doing so much so yeah this guy is not attacking I don't think yeah he is attacking okay so Catalina is taking the brunt of them I'm just gonna stay Stand here, crossing my arms, and wait for the conclusion of this combat. And uh, I'm perfectly fine with this. Some people are not fine with watching their characters fight. I am totally fine. I am a fan of tactical games, of strategy games. I really one of my favorite strategy games of all time, StarCraft. StarCraft One. I'm not a very good player. Uh, I do play competitively StarCraft Two. But I'm 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 kind of bad. I can I can handle myself. I have won matches, uh, competitive matches where where I've been uh, put up against uh, against the competitive players that know what they're doing. But uh, I I'm perfectly fine with watching the, the combat unfold. Um, look at that. Just they're just looking at him. They don't. No, I attack. No, you attack. No, I attack. And I'm perfectly fine. It's an abstraction. Uh, and it's, it's an abstraction of the what goes on in real life and uh, if that's the way to make the game more fun that's the way to make the game more fun it doesn't need to be realistic uh, it, it needs to be realistic in a way that you can understand but uh, you need to be to make conceptions for example first person shooters are not realistic at all for the simple reason that you eat bullets left and right and uh, that the enemy's aims are always terrible because they're real time and it's impossible to it's impossible to mimic uh, a guy shooting at hundreds of enemies or maybe tens of enemies. It doesn't work like that. The most realistic first person shoot that I've ever played was actually Rainbow Six Spearhead. What was it? What was the name? Is this the, okay? This is not where we came from. Okay, that's good. So yeah, first person shooters are usually not realistic. It's just a matter of what you are looking at. If you like graphics then you want realistic graphics. If you like strategy, then you want realistic strategy. If you want simulation of uh, World War II weaponry, for example, then you want World War II weaponry to be recreated as realistically as possible. But it's all a matter of what you're looking for. And in old school RPGs, what you're looking for is fun, is a challenge. And uh, looking at your characters do the thing that you want them to do is a challenge. You've seen that already. You've seen that in this game. This is an easy fight, but it wasn't just a couple of episodes ago. That wasn't the case. If I had come down here with how badly we were equipped, that that would be the end. We would never... I mean, we were fighting a couple of shroomers in Blumentark just, just like three or four episodes ago, and it was 
was really tough. And we died. And we didn't explore those dungeons, which we're gonna explore or explore now for sure. Um, if these dungeons don't indeed connect with the, those dungeons over uh, underground Lumen Targ. But it looks like uh, it looks like I'm gonna need to pay a little bit more attention uh, to what's going on in here. Let's heal Catalina. This guy is near death. It's not gonna be a big deal. But anyway, this is a challenge. This is exactly what I look for in an old school RPG or in an RPG in general. It's just gen just challenge. Please challenge me. Please make the game as in as interesting as possible, as enticing as possible for me to care about whether or not I'm well equipped, whether or not I'm sh I choose the right skills. Uh, and uh, yeah, let me choose my skills. Let me choose my abilities. Let me choose the way I go about in the quests and in the world and uh, reward me for the choices or punish me whatever as long as the world reacts that's that's uh, that's an rpg that's that's all there is to it and uh, down it goes finally finally so i'm just gonna heal everyone and get more emeralds more edible arts i really want to brew potions i, I can't I, I can't wait for that actually so i should be collecting a lot of emeralds i have been collecting a lot of emeralds because these guys, they drop, they drop a lot of them. So we are arriving at the, is that the start of the map? We came from where? Where did we came from? Came from over there? Was that what? Okay, I've been here, so I'm not gonna care about that for right now. I'm just gonna try and focus on the fog of war, because I'm sure there's more shroomers and more skin stealers around. And uh, that was that, so there's still a lot of places for me to explore, I think. No? No? Is that all there is? If it's all there is, I'm perfectly fine, I'm perfectly okay with it, but if it isn't, I don't want to miss it. But it looks like it might be. It looks like it might be, it is. It is, this is the end of this dungeon. Hmm. Okay, so where the hell am I? Okay, so yeah, the map you can... Yep, that's a better way to explore this. Okay. I didn't know about this this functionality. So you can look at this. Look at the world this way. That's a good way to, to explore, to just check everything. And indeed, I have checked everything. I've killed everyone. Look at that. Just death all around. And I, can I di direct my characters? Oh, I haven't been here. Have I? Is this the, the way back? It is. Look at that. You see the door over there. Let's go over here. Are you guys coming? You are. Thank you. Uh, and let's see. Because I think the Fog of War is hiding someplace in here. Maybe not, though. Maybe not. Anyway, I need to go back. I need to go back to level 1 and then back to Lumen Targ. And indeed, that Fog of War was not hiding anything. So let's go back there. So the way should be easy. Because the maps go around in circles, and I kind of uh, went the right way. Going, going left was going the right way, and so I the entrance back to level one is over here somewhere. It is over here somewhere, as I remember this being the entrance, although I cannot see it because probably it's not in my line of sight. Uh, yep, there it is. And is that the way? It is the way. Thank you. This looks like it might have been built by actual people, maybe, because those look... The doors are doors, actual doors. These look like pillars, man-made pillars. Hmm, interesting. Now, uh, in regards to my way back, it's easy. It's an easy way back, because this one is a short dungeon. This, the, this first level is a short level, and um, that's it. That is it. Oh, I'm I'm actually quite happy that we managed so well in this in this one. So this bodes very well for our future. And let's go back to Lumentark. Let's deliver the head of uh, I don't know his name. I don't have both heads though. For some reason they didn't. I don't know. I don't know why that was, but whatever. I don't care. Uh, let's just go on ahead and uh, go back to the north. Go back to the world map. And is this the way? It is not the way. Can I look at the, the world like this? 
I haven't been here, have I? Okay, this is the way into the this map, I think. Let's go over there. Because I don't think I've been here. Or I don't think I have explored that all that well. So let's go. Just 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 because. Because we can we need to go through here, so we might as well check this out. Maybe there's some treasure. Probably there's not. Maybe there's some enemies. Probably there's not any enemies. And indeed, it turns out there's nothing in there. So this is so this is um, the way out. Let's quick save. Let's go. What? Okay. I didn't get a chance to quick save. Never mind. Never mind. Let's go. This is the world map now. A world map that I actually like quite a lot. And uh, health potions and reviving foods cannot be consumed while paused. Once eaten or drank, they heal you at a small incre inc increments of at a time. Okay. I've seen that. Actually, food works the same way. It's okay, I got plenty of food, although I'm thinking that I'm gonna want to brew a lot of potions. I, I yeah. Okay, so we're... What? Where the hell am I? Where the hell am I? Uh, hello? This is not Lumentar. I thought this was the way back out into the world. But apparently it's not. And I've, I haven't been here before. So where am I? I have been here. This is Lumentarg. Oh. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm fine with that. A large rat and this is the well. The rat lounges indolently, seemingly, seemingly oblivious to your looming presence, except for its quirk, quickly daring uh, yellow eyes. Let's attempt to communicate with the rat. I don't understand what the rat is saying. Let's use linguistics or woodwise. Maybe that will work. Woodwise, please. Can I speak with the rat? Can Wilhelm speak with the rat as he spoke with the fox? Attempt to communicate. With your aptitude for communicating with woodland creatures, you peer into the mind of the rat, who has finally acknowledged your presence and has begun to presumptuously, presumptuously sniff your satchel. Hmm. He wants food, probably. Should we... Hmm. Let's move... The Rats are curious creatures. Rats are... Hmm. Rats are curious creatures that I'm, I'm not sure... Let's open it up and let the rat produce it from a careful distance. The rat's yellow eyes open wide as it spots your salted meat and, of course, looking up at you with as much charm as a disease-infested rodent could, could possibly muster, asks for a piece. A single piece? Well, sure. Uh, yeah, give the rat a piece from your stash. With a squeak of delight, the rat devours the meat and conveys that in return to your ki for your kindness, it will share anything you wish to know about the town. Ooh, interesting. Ask the rat if it knows any ongoings that might interest a traveler. In the rat's mind, you see a series of images, two creatures of a different race with long bat-like ears and glowing eyes uh, down in the caverns below town, looking up a rope descending from the town well, then just one in the cavern and one alone in jail. Okay, wait a minute. So there's two creatures with bat-like ears and glowing eyes down in the cavern below town, looking up at a rope uh, descending from the town well. Then just one in the cavern and one alone in the jail. So yeah, there's yeah, okay. This guy who is in jail, we spoke with him before. We couldn't understand his language though. So I probably need linguistics for that. Uh, although there's another one down in the well, which is probably the thing that's that's um uh poisoning the well, maybe? What are the intentions of these creatures? The rat conveys both violence and sympathy, but its thoughts are muddled and it lacks coherence. Well, thank you, and consider, uh, let's consider giving a rat an appreciative path, pat, but decide the potential plague isn't worth it. Yeah, uh, yeah. So the rat is over here. It's not a threat to the well. Let's leave the rat in there, little woodland creature. Um, and uh, let's look at this, at these barrels. Nothing on the ground. There's some emeralds. Thank you. And another barrel over here. 
and it didn't drop anything that time. Ooh, that's quite a bit of Lumentark that I hadn't explored before. There's Sheikhan, there's these caravans, what looks like caravans anyway, and uh, there's a field over here. Ooh, Lumentark is huge! I didn't explore anything. That is over there, there's a goblin. I'm not gonna fight him alone. Excuse me. I'm not gonna fight him alone, and I'm not gonna fight him in this episode, actually. I should throw a rope down the well, but uh, we'll, we'll see about that. Anyway, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Serpent in the Staglands. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, feel free to leave a comment, and I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye!